everybody. Michelle is back. Almost the afternoon here on the West Coast, September the 9th, 2024. And I wanted to come back and talk about something that's pretty controversial. And I've said many things about it in the past. <clears throat> and if you choose to, you know, research it on your own, I suggest you do. Um, we are, um, you know, it's, 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 um, I hate to, you know, I don't go out to just cause problems with people. I am not in, in that, um, uh, business of causing problems and creating, um, uh, discord and, and this, that, and the other chaos, um, uh, hatred, but it has something to do with something that I've been talking about for a while, and it's, it's the um, the male and the female confusion, the masculine and the feminine confusion, and how we are uh, menu -eyed, You know, we are like ordering menu items to describe who we are. Now, on the surface of that, that is not a problem at all. I am accepting of all people regardless of how they identify themselves i've worked with people that were different than myself i've worked with people who identify differently than myself i saw them as human beings and they are okay we are all human beings doing everything we can to operate as properly as we can as human beings but a lot of us you know understand that we are on the verge of a collapse and a, and what i mean by that is that there's a collapse of culture there's a collapse of identity there's a collapse of um logical rational and reasonable thinking we for the most part love to push the envelope to the point of whether it's being totally extreme or totally fanatical we do not operate off of neutrality or in the middle of anything. So we all understand, if you understand biology, that in biology it, there are males and females, okay? In biology, there's a masculine and a feminine component to that as well. In biology, there's the yin and the yang, okay? Biology is what created this planet. Okay, and yet we have human beings who were created as a form of biology attempting to restructure, change, interfere with the biology of our existence. And that is where the collapse is going to take place and it's not going to be pretty for any of us. Just because you are thinking that you are a man, but yet your biology, your chromosomes, your makeup, as far as your development is, is not a man, doesn't mean that you are a man. Same thing with women, all because you say you're a woman, but yet your, your reproduction, your biology, your chromosomes say that you are, you know, a man, a woman, those things cannot be just simply dismissed and be created as something that doesn't matter. It does matter. And what is happening is if you take a look at nature, nature is giving us all the signals in the world as to what is happening with us as human beings. Okay. We are overly, uh, saturating, overly populating this planet and we do not understand the components of how we are interfering with the production of a planet, the um, sustainability of a planet. And so we are allowing anyone that's not properly developed to come in and run things and tell people how, how they're supposed to act. I told you most of us are being, uh, most of this planet is run by wounded leaders, incompetent leaders, okay? 
uh, insane leadership, uh, degenerate, uh, deviant. And it all boils down to being improperly developed. It says nothing against their humanness and their and 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 the um the realization that they are human beings they're just not a lot of us just just not acting as such we want to be all powerful and all knowing and believe that we know better than the biology of this planet the the biology of this universe okay this universe is is comprised of the masculine and the feminine the male and the female now who you choose to sleep with and who you choose to be intimate with is private and irrelevant to the development of who you are i know a lot of people get upset because we're dealing with this craziness because it is crazy and insane and insanity and unreasonable behaviors of how certain people are acting and identifying themselves and how they are uh, causing the collapse of the of our cultures of our humanity so i would just say i would say calm down if you choose to relax and look at everything from the, the suspension of your ego suspension of your labels suspension of your beliefs your convictions your faith and not comparing yourself to other people and just relax a little bit. No one has to know you're doing this and ask yourself, what is really going on here? Why are we attempting to interfere with the biology of who we are? That sounds like self-hatred to me. Okay? I am a female. I am a biological female. I was born a biological female with all the components that represents my beingness as a female, okay? Now, who I choose to love or not love or who I choose to be intimate with or not be intimate with is irrelevant to the fact that I am a biological woman. Let's just think about this clearly and effectively for a moment. And, and it's going to keep coming up and keep coming up. When I die and they bury my body, after a hundred years or so, if they were to dig me up, my component and makeup of my skeletal design will represent a biological female. It doesn't matter what I'm thinking about. Okay. It doesn't matter if I add breast or take away my breast. Okay. It doesn't matter if I add a penis or cut out a vagina and, and, and design a uh vagina deep within I am a biological female and so that's where and, and so now everybody is getting all up up in arms about how they want to identify themselves and how they want to be included and in everything okay I don't think I don't think rationally if you think clearly and effectively effectively no one cares uh per se or ought to not care one way or another about well, who I'm sleeping with. And, but yet we have taken everything so extreme, so fanatical, and it's all based on uh, damaged consciousnesses or underdeveloped consciousnesses. That's all, it's your, your consciousness is underdeveloped and you just need help and guidance to recover yourself, reconnect yourself. And bring yourself into a genuine reality of who you are. Okay. We are born male, female, and then some are considered intersex. They have both, uh, you know, reproductive organs. But usually if you look at them, they have the look of a female or male. But now that's all being weaponized against people. Um their biology okay again I'm a biological woman and that gives me the free will 
to behave as such. But does that have anything to do with who I sleep with or who I decide to marry or who I decide to have a relationship with? It has nothing at all to do with that at all. And we keep, and we keep trying to mix up. We, we, we're confused, the bottom line. We're confused. And we need to be kind and gentle with ourselves individually to do everything in our power to become unconfused and get back to the basic elements of what it means to be a human being what it means to be a female, what it means to be a male. I'm a biological female. And as I've said on many videos, it would be so disrespectful for me to believe I know what it means to be a biological man, vice versa. Biological men cannot tell biological women how to be biological women. And biological women cannot tell biological men to be bi how to be biological men, okay? The, the, the dangers that we face relates to the biological woman however and i've said that clearly and effectively the biological woman is what is under attack okay there is this country within the last decades or so uh experimenting on each other because they were doing everything in their power to uh develop a biological man to give birth to babies. That goes against the biological, the biological aspects of who we are, how we were created. And of course it failed. So now, and so when you think about that clearly and effectively, as I said in that previous video on this com, you know, video I've done a while ago, search, search for it if you choose to. If biological men want to give birth to babies, why do we need biological men? Think about that clearly and effectively. And take your feelings out of these things. Take your emotions out of it. Stop being offended when someone is attempting to help. To help and save you, save your consciousness, evolve your consciousness. So many people that work in these, work in these as advocates and um, in these uh, fields of the gay, lesbian, trans, bisexual, uh, you know, all these, a lot of them have an, an agenda if anybody's paying attention. They have an agenda. It's about building uh, support so they can harass you later by wanting you to donate here, donate there, donate to their cause. And secretly, they hate you. They hate what you're about. There are so many people that are against the gay and the lesbian community, and that's been that way for, for decades upon decades. And now you have what I believe, these are my theories and opinions, you have this so-called trans community. And I think the trans community is doing more to harm the biological female than any. And soon it's going to start working this way as well with the biological men. I told you, a lot of biological women, regardless of who they are sleeping with, they want to be safe. And so what they're going to do is separate themselves from so-called quote-unquote biological men, whether they call them tra themselves transgender or not. Okay, transgenders are usually biological men or biological females. They're not gay or lesbian. That, had those, that doesn't even come together. There's a difference, and people need to wake up and snap out of it. There's a difference between being gay or lesbian, bisexual, than being trans. Okay? Now, there's nothing, there's no, no one saying that you cannot support, you know, someone identifying as transgender. That, that is far from what I'm advocating for or what I'm supporting. But I know that the damage is, is happening towards biological women, okay? Lesbians are biological women. And bisexual women can identify either or. You know, they can identify that they prefer intimacy with a man or a woman. There's the, that's that beautiful choice. As a biological woman, I can either be intimate with a man or with a woman exclusively I choose to be exclusively with biological women. 
more specifically biological black women that identify as lesbians. Okay, there's nothing about me thinking that I'm a man that's disrespectful. Again, for me to be a biological woman telling a biological man how to be a biological man. But that is what's happening to the biological woman. Okay, we need to protect the biological woman. Now, is that, is that misogynistic? Is that sexist? Is that... Uh, just just calm down. Relax. No one has to know that you're, you're thinking about these things. And I say this to the, to the advocates, the activists of the so-called inclusive communities, how you want to include people everywhere, which is beautiful. But black women, more specifically... Biological black women are being pushed out of certain positions just to make room for someone identifying as a transgender when in actuality they're just feminine biological straight men. Okay? I'm going to keep talking about this. i got plenty of videos out there about this. I know it's not a popular subject. I'm, I know I'm being suppressed by certain things, but I know the energy in my thoughts does resonate and, and I am being heard I'm being felt I'm being seen so that's why I continue to keep it going we're not menu items we're human beings okay again I'm a biological woman and I have so much thankfulness and gratefulness for that sure when I was growing up as an adolescent I was all over the place and that's what happens to all of us and as long as we continue to have our planet out of balance as such, that's where it's going to start in the adolescence. When they're or younger, you're going to find this confusion. You're going to find this craziness. You're going to find all this stuff going on. There's, there's energetic reasoning for that. Okay, there's energetic reasoning as to why we're so all over the place, so confused and thinking we, can, thinking we are the masters of the universe. We are not. Pay attention to nature. Nature is by nature is uh, the best teacher. If you have anything of nature left, that's what's so sad about all of this and what we've done. There's the male, the female. There's the masculine and the feminine. The yin and the yang. That is what that is what neutralize and support the neutralization of the planet. That is, those are the components necessary. It doesn't matter what I'm thinking and what I'm believing because it is a belief. It is a belief. Listen to this word. Like I said, without your ego, it is a belief to know that I am a biological woman and I have the reproduction, I have the parts to prove it, but yet I'm thinking I'm a man. There's a disconnect. And we need to accept that with kindness and gentleness, but we need to accept it from within ourselves first and do do things creatively to uh, include people yes be creative about it but do not be accepting of inhumane behaviors and actions okay the biological woman is what is that um, at state here the dangers towards the biological woman Okay, and the eventual continued destruction, um, decline of proper thinking, which is causing a uh, this is just causing a decline in reasoning skills, a decline in proper thinking, atrophy. And then at that point, uh, a man-made, self-created dementia. That's, you know, some people will not, there's going to be millions, possibly billions of people that will not escape that. And it's because of unreasonable thinking and this unreasonable belief about who we think we are. Okay? Masculine, feminine, male, female, yin-yang. I'm a biological woman with masculine energy and I am attracted to biological women 
with feminine energy. As simple as that. I, I do not believe I'm a man, and I do not want to associate with someone who believes they're a woman when their reproduction says otherwise. I want a biological woman. Simple. And that's how our lives are. Our lives are simple. We're complicating it. So I hope one day to speak to a group of people, one-on-one -on -one in groups, so that we can bring back some reason to our thinking so that we can properly help people. Because at the end of the day, we, people need to be healed. This spinning, this constant spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and delusion is dangerous. And that is possibly, and that contributes as well to confusion and not knowing who the hell you are. And self-hatred is what it boils down to me. So, again, this is a controversial video. I'm going to keep talking about this subject. I'm going to lose people. But then I know at the end, they'll return once they are reasonable and rational and, and taking things off the personal and seeing things clearly as they are. See things clearly as they are. Hear things clearly as they are. And there's another example. You know, if you see a bird in the sky and the bird says, you know what, I'm a frog. Okay, wh what are you going to think about that? Or vice versa. Nature is teaching us. Okay. For what is left. For what is left. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. This is a Monday. You know, Monday of reflection. A Monday of opening up your thinking and, and considering other modes of thinking. And no one has to know. Peace and love. And trust me. I will be back.